Hey, Sierra family, Corbett back with your church update. This is the third week of December, and well, that was fun, wasn't it? Uh, three feet of snow, no power, I actually just got mine back. What an adventure <laughs> it is living in the mountains. I hope that you're all, everyone's dug out and safe and warm and good, man. That was that was crazy, but I'll tell you what, we didn't even shut our Sunday service down. As much as staff couldn't gear, I couldn't get to church but there were 12 people who made it to church on Sunday morning. I mean, there were there were five at the 9 a.m., six at the 10.45, and one, one very brave soul showed up to the 6.30 p.m. service. So kept it going as best we could, even without power. That's we try and keep it <laughs> as much as we can on Sunday. So anyway, a few things coming up on the calendar. First of all, if you haven't gotten tickets, for the Christmas dinner. I do believe there are a few available, so get on that if you wanna join us this Friday the 16th for dinner. You can contact the office, just call during business hours, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., talk to Tammy, she'll get you tickets. They're $10 for adults and kids 10 and under are free. Now that's an amazing, great deal for an amazing dinner. So uh, you have a, uh, give them a call, see if you can get some tickets for that. Again, that's coming up this Friday the 16th. Now. Coming up here the week after that, we're going into the holiday. And so Kids Quest and Breakout, our younger kids Bible study programs, they are going to be on break next week. So they won't meet. You guys will have actually the next three weeks off for Christmas break. So that is coming up next week. Our junior high and high school, we're going to meet this week. We're going to meet next week as well. We will just take off the time when the public school does. And that really is uh, after Christmas, so kids don't get out of school until Christmas Eve. So we we will have our midweek Bible studies through that time. Now, Christmas Eve services very important here because we're making a pretty big change. We are going to offer three services on Christmas Eve: 4:30 p.m., 6 p.m., and 7:30 p.m. So what we're doing is we're replacing the 9 p.m. with a 4:30 p.m. Hopefully that allows people to get out while it's still somewhat light and have, have an opportunity to be home for Christmas Eve a little bit earlier. Now, a little unique aspect to the services. So if you have kids, there will be a Sunday school program at the 4.30 p.m. service only, not at any of the other ones. If you need the nursery, the nursery will be available for the 4.30 p.m. service and the 6 p.m. service, but not for the 7.30 p.m. So if you come at 7.30, Kids are hanging in and sitting with you if you bring them because they're, there's not Sunday school or uh, or nursery for that. And no Sunday school for the 6 p.m. service as well, just the 4.30. So I know that's a lot of details, but we're trying to make some changes here and see how that works. Do it a little bit earlier, get people home earlier, and hopefully that that is something that's beneficial to everybody. Now, right after that, Christmas Day is on Sunday, and that's... That's amazing, right? That's good. We're going to celebrate with one service on Christmas morning at 10 a.m. Now, on that service, there will be Sunday school and nursery available at that 10 a.m. service. So, Christmas Eve services, 4.30, 6, and 7.30, and then Christmas Day, just a 10 a.m. Man, a lot going on. Really looking forward to this holiday season. Hope you are too. Stay warm out there. Help a neighbor shovel, dig them out, whatever you got to do. Uh, and enjoy the season, guys. The resorts are full. Get out and ski. It's a good thing for our town and our community. Now, until we do see each other again, as always, guys, God bless.